Somebody who has an allergic reaction or an anaphylactic attack is going to need a dose of adrenaline very quickly. Now the problem with the conventional syringe will be the drug is in the bottle, you need to uh, draw that drug out of the bottle and also you need to dispose of it very easily. Now if you are having an anaphylactic reaction there's no way you're going to be able to cope with drawing a drug out of a bottle the way a doctor would do. So what they've done is invented auto-injectors. Different forms of auto-injectors have been around for many, many years. Now there's some very good auto-injectors, they're very easy to manage, easy to carry, and they're available to anybody who's suffering from uh, anaphylactic reactions. What the auto-injector will do is it delivers a preset dose of adrenaline into the body. Now what we're going to do as the course goes on is look at the individual types of auto-injector and also how to use each one of those auto-injectors. But basically what you're doing is you're injecting the drug into your thigh, in the top quarter of your thigh, and you pop the injection in, you leave the needle in there for 10 seconds, you take it out and rub the area for 10 seconds. Because of the auto-injector, it's easy for the actual patient to deliver the drug themselves without any problems. Imagine you're having an anaphylactic reaction, you're going to be very, very distressed, you're going to be uncomfortable, you're going to have breathing problems, it needs to be simple. That's why these units have been developed. Different people will be prescribed different units. Now some of the difference within the uh, auto-injectors themselves, some of them are easier to use than others, some last longer, but basically the drug inside is, is very much the same drug. However, maybe shelf life and things like this would be different between the different um, auto-injectors. With your auto-injector, you'll also receive a lifeline card. Now what this card does, it tells basic information about you and your condition and who to contact. On the lifeline card, you would fill in the back. And on the back, you're filling information about what you're actually allergic to, who you, they should contact in an emergency. Obviously, they're going to be calling 999, but is there somebody else you need to be called? Also, where is your auto-injector? If it's always in a handbag, for example, then you could write that on the card. So if someone finds the card, they can help you to get your auto-injector for you. And also any other relevant information that you need can all be logged onto the card. These cards actually open up, and once you uh, open the whole card up, it will tell you information about how to actually use the auto-injector. Uh, so remember there's different ones, so if someone's, uh, you're looking after someone's children, uh, make sure you're familiar with the brand and type of auto-injector that they have. So it's a simple stage on this one, one through down to six, exactly what to do. Also it'll tell you the differences between two units, there's two types of uh, auto-injector, so each of the individual brands would normally have two types, up to 30 body weight and over 30 kilos in body weight. They use the kilos in body weight rather than a, a child or an adult, because children, it's, it's impossible to say what age they would get to 30 kilos. So you may well find that one child has one type of auto-injector uh, and the other has another, so it's not really age related. So within this system here, we're looking at the JEX, we've got the JEX 300 and also the JEX 150. The JEX 150 uh, is for 15 to 30 kilos and the JEX 300 is for body weight over 30 kilos. On the other side of the card, it shows symptoms of anaphylaxis so that people can get a bit more information. So this could be help to train people. So maybe you could get somebody to read this document if they're you know, a friend of yours, just so they've got some bit more information on what you suffer from and also what treatment you're going to be receiving. The auto-injectors themselves, here we've got two units, the JEX system and the EpiPen. If you look at them, they're very, very similar. These units would also be in some kind of carrying case. Uh, the carrying case is there to protect the unit. Uh, some of them actually protect them against UV and also they keep them safe and clean. Other people will have different prescriptions for them. It may well be that one child in your care, for example, uses the JEC system and another child uses EpiPen or maybe the AniPen. Uh, it may well be that they have more than one. General advice with these units is to deliver the uh, adrenaline. Uh, if there's no real improvement or conditions getting worse, then they can have a second auto-injector uh, and they would have that between 5 and 15 minutes after the first one. All of these units are single dose. You can only use them once. They'll always have a, a system where you can see that they've been activated as well. What we're going to do now is look at the different types of auto-injector.